Today, I'm gonna to cover what we program the different buttons on coffee machines for, so that you get an understanding what's happening when we're pushing a button, and what you can do on different machines, because there's a whole range of different keypads out there. We get asked a lot, which button do we press to make a double extraction or a ristretto? Now, that is a question which is really gotta be customized to you in your cafe, uh, the handle that you're using, the amount of coffee that you're using, and your recipes. But I wanna outline what we do here at Artisti for our cafe partners. Now, in front of me, we have a PB, um, which is uh, from Lama Zocco, and it, you can see it has three buttons. Now, this is along their newer styling, and just to quickly explain what you can do um, with these buttons. Now, you might have a machine that had, say, five buttons, and some have six buttons. And I'll duck into a room in a sec, and I'll show you how we program those ones. With these, we do our first button as our ristretto. As the second button, we do that as our normal, or we might call that your double shot. The swirly button is our three second flush. Now you may think, oh gee, that's not enough. Well, in a PB, you've got two options. You can press the button like softly, or you can press and hold it. So I'll just demonstrate that for you. So if I press and hold this once, you can see it slow flashes. If I press and hold it fast, uh, longer, it flashes fast. So that gives us another longer length. Now, what we've done is we've set up our longer length um, for these two buttons for our singles and our decaf, because our recipe is actually a little bit different. Um, we do put 23 grams of coffee in our basket, but we have an end yield of 40 grams. Now, we can only achieve that by having different water levels. So, quick wrap up, our two front buttons are for our main blends. If we press and hold them longer, they activate the shorter pause for our singles or our decaf. Now, come into the training room and I'll show you a couple other machines. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we have an old linear um, classic from Lama Zocco. It's actually had the Kronos keypad upgrade. Now, this is literally just a two button um, uh, settings. We don't have any extras, you can't press and hold these. So this one we have to program um, we have a manual flush button that we have to start and stop ourselves. We set the first one up as our ristretto and our second one up as a normal. Now we can't have that adjustment as I talked about for single origins, but we find with this machine, this is great for our cafe partners that uh, aren't offering single origins. They've got a main blend and they're just pumping those coffees through. If you had the original set of keypads in here, which has um, the five buttons, we actually set the first one up as our flush because it's quick and easy and we just set it um, as a, a manual flush for two seconds. Then the next button along would be our ristretto. Our third button along would be our normal or double shot. And our fourth button along would be there for the single origin. So that would be a little bit shorter um, than our normal button. Now behind me, we've got a San Remo Zoe, which throws a little bit more uh, of an issue into it. So we've actually got six buttons here. We're gonna use this one as our flush, this is our ristretto, this is our normal, and this one then could be used for our blacks, um, our single origins or our decaf. And you've gotta be careful with these because some machines only have pre-infusion on certain buttons. These as a standard, I believe only have them on these two buttons here. So you'd have to make that change um, and shift the right recipe to the buttons if you wanna use pre-infusion. Does that save confusion? It makes confusion. <laughs> Pre-infusion. Pre Pre-infusion. Pre Pre-infusion confusion. Look, pre-infusion is a whole different thing. But again, there are a lot of other machines out there, um, like um, Expo Bars. I know they only have um, pre-infusion on certain buttons in their keypads, and I don't know why the designers do it. I think it should be available on all buttons or none at all, because generally your um, roaster or whoever is advising you in your extractions either loves or doesn't like pre-infusion. Not just having it on a couple of buttons, that, that confuses us as well. Now the hot tip about setting up any of these machines is not to set them up by the flow of time. You have to be weighing your end liquid extraction to be able to set these buttons up to the exact recipe that you're gonna use. 
Now, if you don't have a recipe, check out our other videos and we'll be able to help you uh, work that process out. And then you'll know um, how much end liquid weight that you're going to achieve out of any of these particular buttons to get perfect espresso. So thanks very much for watching. I hope that's helped you get an idea of how we set up our machines here at Artisti for our cafe partners. Uh, if you've got a question, leave it down below. We'd look forward to answering that for you. And make sure you do like and subscribe and hit the bell and you'll get notified when we put up our latest video. Thanks very much for watching everyone. We'll catch you next time on the Artisti Coffee Channel.